Hi there, this is Peter from ISPO. Uh, today we've got a small demo to do quickly for a solution that we can use for geezers. Um, it consists of two switches. It is the TH16 with a waterproof temperature sensor and then we've got a circuit breaker. This one is a 40 amp circuit breaker and we also have a 63 amp circuit breaker in stock. 40 amp more than enough for well 3 kilowatt as well as 4 kilowatt um, geysers okay so let's have a quick look at the setup um, so obviously we talked about the, the switches the, the son of and the u-link switches what we have here is a mug of hot water glass of cold water a light bulb which represents a geyser and then obviously the U-Link app, which is a free download from uh, well Play Store or for iOS. Um, we've got two switches on here. It is the geezer on off, which is the circuit breaker switch. And as you can see, it is on now. We'll talk about why it is on just now. As well as in the geezer temp, which is really the TH16. Um, and I have set up two scenes just to keep those two switches in sync. So if the temp switch switches on, the circuit breaker will switch on with it. As well as if the TH16 or the temp switch switches off, the same thing will happen with the circuit breaker. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the rules. So you can see that the TH16 will switch on the moment that it reaches 25 degrees. Um, anything less than 25 degrees, it will turn on the, the TH16 and therefore the circuit breaker and therefore then obviously the geezer. Um, if it then reaches 30 degrees, the TH16 will switch off and everything then with it. Okay, let's move on to the demo. So temperature probe in the hot water. Let's see what happens to the temperature. It sh should switch off the geezer once it reaches 30 degrees perfect okay let's put it in the cold water and the same thing once it reaches 25 degrees it is temperatures are not suitable for geyser but i think it's fine for for this purposes demo purposes less than 25 degrees and switches on everything with it Okay, so let's quickly just see what happens to the two switches. Um, obviously, it is on less than 25 degrees. I'm going to put it in the hot water. And all I want to show is, so what will happen now is once the temperature reaches 30 degrees, the TH16 will switch off and the U-Link scene will then make sure that the circuit breaker switches off with it. Let's put it in the cold water. And then the same thing will happen once it reaches 25 degrees. First the TH16 and immediately thereafter the circuit breaker should then switch on. Perfect. And maybe lastly what I can do is just to show you that we can still manually control the geezer. If I want to switch it off I can. If I want to switch it on, I can do that as well. And obviously you can set your timers like you would do with any other normal Sonoff switch. For whatever days of the week, you can set the time. You can tell it whether it should switch on or off. So yes, a very nice setup and I like this. Thank you for watching.